So as I was saying, what would happen is the government dictated the price. They said an ounce of gold is worth $15, an ounce of silver is worth $1, and people could choose how they would pay. If they owed somebody $100, they could either pay with gold or they could pay with silver. And what they would do is they would work out what was the what had the cheapest value. And it's called Gresham's Law. It's where the the value of gold and silver it constantly fluctuates a little bit and so at one point in time an ounce of gold might be worth 10 ounces of silver but later on it might be worth 30 ounces of silver and so by the government fixing the price and saying this is what it's worth people would say okay there's the there's the official government price where i have where when i pay debt i have to pay in this amount but then there's the market price what i'll do is i will pay this way because it's cheaper that way according to the market price that if the market price is one ounce of gold is worth 30 ounces of silver then market wise really a, a an ounce of silver is only really worth 50 cents because if the government said that an ounce of gold is worth 15 dollars and an ounce of silver is only really worth one thirtieth of an ounce of gold an ounce of gold fifteen dollars what's fifteen dollars divided by thirty fifty cents but oh wait a minute the government official price is an ounce of silver is worth a dollar so you know what i'll just go and and pay the cheapest way i'll go and and pay with my silver and that's what milton friedman was talking about is he talked about the different coinage acts and that it was it was cheaper for you to pay in silver rather than gold. So from 1789 or maybe a few years after that when the first Coinage Act was established up until 1873 people just used silver because it was the cheaper way to pay. And then after 1873 gold was established as the only way to pay. And then in August 9, 1934 they brought back silver as as currency and they also had a hgr 192 which said that no longer is gold the only way that you can be required to pay from from now on if if you owe somebody money they can't require you to just simply pay in gold they have to allow you to pay in other ways and it's called discharging debt and then of course at a different time silver became legal tender it went back so when they said that gold can no longer be enforced as the only way to pay they were referring to the coinage act of 1873 which gave it that status and so now silver is back in and in fact they didn't want american citizens to use gold because what would be happening is they owed other people money they owed foreigners money and they were going to get paid in gold so what would americans use then they said okay americans we want you to use silver of course in the 80 in the 1970s that all changed where they for once and for all said okay there's no longer an official gold price and that's because we use special drawing rights for debt these days when you owe when one country owes another country money they're allowed to use special drawing rights to repay it. They, they don't use gold and silver these days. So what else is there to say? Well, there's almost nothing else. So let me just finish off with basically giving you a, a quick rundown as to what the, this has all been about. Basically, The Goonies is a movie about the fact that there were a number of kids who were concerned about the fact that their father wasn't able to pay the mortgage. So what they did is they found the treasure and when they found the treasure they were able to pay it all in one go but until then it was a thing of the father was discharging the interest and that's what they meant when they said it'll take four if all of a sudden he gets 400 paychecks because that's the amount he was paying a mortgage it does cost people money and the interest is the big cost so i think i think I've, I've covered everything now and that's what this is a part of is it's a part of the pinnacle series where in the pinnacle series i've gone through some of some similar concepts but i haven't gone through the 
I don't think I've gone through the charge and discharge versus pay very well and this is one way to rectify it of making sure that I've, I've covered that properly. So that means that in regards to the Pinnacle series there's very little for me to cover. I think I've covered just about everything. So this is a part of the, the Pinnacle series where going through the charge and discharge and pay this has been a very good example of explaining all that and a few other things connected to it. So that will be that.